All right, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the next episode Who's of that? the Battle of Seriously? the Games. Hey, I have been in every single BOTG. <laughs> Today. BOTC? No. We no. are reviewing. We're fixing that. We're Wonderland's fixing that. War, which is Dwayne's number. Isn't it two? Four. four. Is it, it, was it four, number four? Yeah. Which feels great he knowing that number two because. Too. Well, she told me it was the number two. Oh, oh it's all her fault. <laughs> she doesn't know you very well, Dwayne. Bum, bum, yeah, I guess so. And apparently doesn't watch the original BOTG episode on repeat. <laughs> I don't even know what my... Neither do you. Loser. Neither do you. How do you know? He does because he has to get... He has to know what he's playing so he can prepare, practice, solo it, and just... And then The win. time he takes on his turns tells us that he does not do that. <laughs> I'm sorry for asking for basic information about the game on turn fucking one. That's not what? basic information, what? Kev. What is in my bag? God damn it. I need to analyze every single thing that has happened up until this hey, point. Uh, what, what's the starting stuff in the bag? Oh. We told you, you the starting stuff in the bag. Okay. We told right. you the starting stuff in the bag. Okay. Was it a start? Was it, over wow. and over okay. and Kevin over. But Kevin felt that second... That second chip that in the bag that just didn't feel quite right. Didn't feel like it really belonged there. It felt poisonous. Like there was something that just was just inherently wrong with him having an extra chip when he mathematically had just worked out every single reason why that chip should not be said, in there. And then he says, I'm going to sit here until I figured it out. Yep. And he did. Yep. And he did. did. Welcome to Wonderland's War. <laughs> uh, put the war in this one. Yeah, for real. Um... Uh, Dwayne, I'll go ahead and let you explain this since it is your game. Wonderland's War is a bag building slash area control game set in the world of Alice in Wonderland. You're playing uh, a faction ruled by characters of ruled by characters from the <laughs> Alice in Wonderland lore. Um, there's two phases to the game. There's the tea party where you're gaining. Uh, Supporters to put out on the board, uh, tokens to put in your bag, blah, blah, blah. And then the war phase where each of those areas that you put people in, fight. And you pull stuff out of your bag. You build your strength up. Whoever has the highest strength in that area wins. And whoever has the most points at the game at the end of the game wins. That is a very bum, simplified bum, version of Wonderland's War. Yes. Yeah. And... Oh, how do we do it? The person who... He goes last. He goes last. Mm -hmm. okay. We just so usually start on one you, end. Kev. Okay. So um, for me, it's a solid 6.5. Um, I Bad I, for Kevin, if you didn't know. It's not great. That's it's like not failing. Great. It is. It is <gasps> failing. It is technically failing. Um, just by the way, that is a 5 and a 6.5 on both my games from Kevin. <laughs> yeah. 6.5 is a lot better. Um, I think, again, this game would very quickly become, uh, I think, a 7 after. You're improving. Yeah. Because we're going up. I yeah. think it's only going to get better. We're going up from here. Continue. Chances are good. Um, no, for me, um, there's a, the all games have the scale of luck to, to pure skill, right? Chess is... Uh, ostensibly a pure skill game versus, uh, you know, paper, rock, scissors or something like that. That's just pure luck. Um, there's no, or shoots and ladders is a good example. It's just, there's literally no skill in the game whatsoever. Games that have more luck than I'm comfortable with tend to not fare well. And that's actually a pretty low margin. I don't like a ton, a ton of luck. Um, and the bag building uh, piece of it obviously is meant to mitigate that, but the draw from it can just be absolutely punishing. Something which one of the other players at this table will I will I will defer to them to let them share their experiences with that uh, on our play from last night. <laughs> Spoilers: uh, It is a girl. <laughs> uh, oh, you care to share, Dwayne? <laughs> so, because you're a pretty girl. Such a pretty girl. <laughs> I'll swallow you up. <laughs> oh, okay. Next. Sorry, Kev. Sorry. So at any rate, yeah, I, I, I think it's a fun game. I haven't, I actually own a copy. Um, I backed the Kickstarter, uh, the crowdfunding campaign for it. Um, First and or second round? 
the most recent one. So the one with all the glitzed up stuff and everything. Nice. And it was a big question mark after I got home last night. I was like, am I going to keep this? Am I going to take this out? Or am I just going to sell it now? Um, and I honestly still don't know. Um, Give I, it another I, I think I'd like, to, I'd like to play maybe somebody else's copy before taking yep, it out Yep, that's the, the cool plastic. thing mm -hmm. is you can play our copy again. Exactly. Or Dwayne's. or Dwayne's, right? It's one of those ones where all of us have copies. So um, I'll probably keep it in the shrink until I play it once or two or three more times to get a feel <laughs> for it. Um, and I'll go from there. So 6.5 then. Yep. Tough. You. You. No, it's you. We're going in order. Yeah, like this. No, so can oh. him. clockwise. <laughs> okay, well, this may or may not be a little bit of a biased opinion because your boy did win the game. Okay, it's his first win. Because something about, by the way, something about games with luck, luck in them. Uh, you know, I either do fine, or I get absolutely. 1% trounced luck like and I'm hitting it you have oh, probably a 1% chance to get the good thing that you really need and bam I hit it every know? time never and fails you know and it's to the there's point, no okay he's it's lying to the point where I have to laugh at how absurdly good I do sometimes like coming back from six strength because beating me <laughs> because str strategic games yeah Dwayne had 24 strength strategic Sebastian games had six. are not my bag but Games with not luck. Your bag. Yeah. Builder. Builder. <laughs> but games with luck are my no. bag. Because it's one of those things where when I win, I really enjoy it. I can so appreciate like I got lucky and I won and it feels good. And if I don't, I'm I'm like, that's just the draw. Sometimes it don't go your way, you know. But more often than not, it tends to go my way <laughs> for when it comes to luck stuff. Anyways, regardless of that, I have played this game before. Um, we played it with these guys and I was taught wrong. Doesn't really affect my opinion of the game. Um, playing it again after probably a year, the last time I played it. Sick. Awesome. Glad that we got this. I do like it. Um, I plan on painting all the miniatures. So maybe you watch the, the Already Twitch stream. On way there. I've painted two of them. One of them is fine. The other one Alice is not so fine. <laughs> you just need to. But she's got some color on her, and that's really all her. I care about. She looks like a Jersey Shore character right now. All in all, uh, I'm going to give this one an eight because I had a great time. It's a fun game, and I think the theme is uh, shoved in to this game and shoved into your face, and I love it. You know, it's it's got these like really poppy. Colors, pinks and purples, and even the greens, like all the colors are great. I love the art style, and I won the game, so it was fun. And I rated an eight. And I get to say on this game this is my first win. Okay. For me, I would probably give this. I'm stuck. I'd probably give it a seven or a seven and a half. Why? <laughs> it's not an eight for sure. Like definitely not an eight. I feel like a seven is a little too harsh because I really enjoy a lot of things about it. Seven's a little too harsh? Because I really enjoy it. It's harsh for her liking it. It's As much as I do. Is it the because of the last play? No, no, no. I think it's a lot of it because of the theme. I let it affect my I my really rating, like so. the theme of it. I enjoy how beautiful it is. And when it's on the table, I like looking at it. I like the pieces of it. I like the minis. I, I just like the way it looks on the table. And I think that has a lot to do with my willingness to put it out. I also think you don't like bag building. No, I do. Because when we play quacks, okay, maybe I don't. Because when we play I don't quacks, like the luck. you get so I don't frustrated. Like, I don't like luck because you're just a lucky person, and every time we play a luck game, I just get absolutely effed in the butthole. Is there something about lu the luck mechanism? The more agency you have in the selection of the luck piece the more it feels like you are the one who screwed up. Like it was yeah. your bad luck. Mm -hmm. So like rolling dice, they come out of your hand. It feels really bad. 
bag building, right? You're reaching into the bag and you're selecting the piece. It feels like you are doing the thing. Because when it comes to luck, like another, you know, is shuffling a deck. Like if you're doing a deck builder or something like that and you're shuffling the deck, you can shuffle and, and like draw a bad hand. But there's something, even though you're the one drawing the card and you've probably been the one to shuffle it, there's something about like it's no longer the immediate effect where it's like I don't feel as bad when I draw a bad hand as I do when I throw bad dice or pick out a bad token. See, I feel like it's because, it, sorry, you're okay to cut you off. Because like I feel like pulling out of a a bag or pulling drawing a, a bag? or drawing a card is different from rolling a die because that die is set, but you put whatever is in the deck in the deck and whatever's in the bag in the bag. So I, like you could sort of mitigate it whereas you can't like i can't change the faces of a of a die no but there are a lot of games so you can affect what those die rolls do like we'll go to twilight imperium right we're like all right hey my ships now hit on a six rather than a seven Mm -hmm. right there's obviously like mitigating luck and those are great mechanisms for that obviously bag building is a is a luck mitigation thing but to me, I, picking out of a, di- a bag is still a lot closer to the icky feeling when it's the wrong thing as it is when it's a die versus a shuffled deck. I would rather play deck builders than bag builders all day long because in a deck builder, I'm going to go through my deck. In a bag builder, there's no guarantee I'm going to draw any of those. You can chips. bust. Especially I'm going to continuously fill the madness meter and just put them all right back in and I'm going to bust five times in a row. It's uh, also crazy yeah. that she had a Good thing point. where she like, was like, Crap. no guarantee that the three fives and the six that I yep. have in my bag that would do tremendous things for me will come out. That's a good point. And then it's a, like a one time, there's nothing you can do about it. Clank, for example, right? You draw five cards, two of them are crap, whatever. I'll make do with the rest. It, you have options. Right. And then you're going to draw your good cards. There's no no not drawing them. Right. No, that's actually a really good point. I didn't really think about that while we were playing this. Because, like, that didn't happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and obviously it was good. it's a matter of luck, right? Like, and I wasn't observing it from your perspective. But, yeah, I, I also was having a trouble understanding, like, when you actually put things back into your bag because the busting thing was a bit unclear at first about like, all right, well, you know, whatever. So um, that's actually a really good point. And the same thing is with Orléans is like you, because everything goes back into your bag and then you draw back from it, right? Because nothing stays. Orleans is different. There's in the, nothing bad there's no, in there. Exactly. You don't put bad things in your bag. No, no, I get that. But again, but the, but this it's the same thing. Like if you put in, what's the abbot, the, the gold one? The monk. Um, the monk. The wild, yeah in there like there's no guarantee it, you'll pull it out ever but with orleans you're consistently getting rid of characters uh, no I, again you, you should be. you can't I, really do no, that no, no, no. in I'm, this game i'm objectively saying that orleans is better like i got that right those are the different things but it is something also where in theory you could end up not drawing the things that you put into it yeah well, again I, where you said like a deck builder you're going to draw those cards unless Most something likely. forces there you to discard or top like, deck a card or I something like that. Arnak but that's not is one much. that you might not necessarily go through your entire deck. No, not multiple times. If 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 you like focus on doing cards, you're not going through all your but, cards. Like, Arnak is it's not necessarily a deck builder game. It's yeah, I'd say it's that's um, way more of a uh, of a worker placement. It has deck building. It's in it, tagged in yeah. Regardless. No, no. Yeah. Yes. I enjoy deck building a lot more than I enjoy bag building. Yep. Um, I feel like that's a lot more strategic. This, you're just throwing things in there, hoping that you draw the right thing, and you never, you're never guaranteed to draw those. You can get extremely unlucky, and you literally can't do anything about it. I can put it back in my bag with the one thing that will help me, and I can draw it again. Unless you're right me, then you win. You know, know how many times, though, not to interrupt all of you, uh, the Jabberwocky ability that I unlocked where the fourth Madness chip didn't cause double? me to lose characters... It didn't cause me to lose characters, and it would buff my strength by the strength of my leader. So every time, I'm like, "That's a free. That's just a free hit I can take," you know. Mm-hmm. And like half the time, I drew it on the fourth one. It was like my double madness one. Sick. I don't lose anything. I get strength. All, all my chips get reset, and I get to retry. 
I was just getting, I was just getting, I will admit I was getting really lucky. I don't care. I got a W. Take it. Before, I can I can never win this game again. I don't care. <laughs> why don't we why don't we let Dwayne get some of his thoughts in here before I uh challenge Kenzie on some of her opinions? Of this one? No, in general. Oh, okay. All right. So <clears throat> I'm gonna give my, it a, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with seven and a half. Was my, my rating would also be an eight. Um I see where y'all like I see where y'all are coming from. You uh, your point of how a bag you, or a token you might throw in there might never come out. Um, Cause uh, from other bag builders that I have played, it seems like in this one, it's telling you to just load your shit up mm -hmm. instead of smartly putting, putting in something and then taking something out. So you're not pulling the weak stuff anymore. You don't really take stuff out of here. Yeah. You're taking out madness. Um, unless tokens. Unless you're throwing forging. forges in there, but like there's only so many forges you want to put in there. Well, that's, but you can forge a forge though. I don't know what mm -hmm. you like, how much you did it. I forged all but one spot. I had so many madness tokens in there. Yeah. You had a lot of, from the, that she true. got a lot of gems. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Cause you're also with, with that, you're putting in more than you're taking out. Like, I think. Well, yeah. And it also depends on the card you're taking, of course. Well, but there's but. a certain point where, like, if you're getting madness stuff put in, right, you can't forge a madness token. And getting rid of madness tokens is a lot harder than getting rid of anything else. Right? There's only a mm -hmm. few options in the game, and they come later on. Right? So if you're getting two, three, four extra of those tokens, you can the, I mean, the logic of forging out even low end stuff is dangerous because you're limiting your total chip pool, right? So, I don't know. There's something to be said for like, hey, look, I you got to keep all your 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 low end crap because if you don't, literally half of the tokens in your bag are madness. Maybe. I get it because you drew two. You drew the the extra one at least. There's only three tw rounds, and twice I had to put the extra one in there. That's right, because Dwayne got the last one. But yeah, uh, eight. I feel like it's it's a good length. Like it doesn't overstay its welcome. Or that it's I not, agree with. It's not too short to where it's like, damn, I didn't even get to, I didn't do anything. Um, I I when I first saw it, I thought it would be like, I thought the art would really clash. Like, there's so many colors, and it's just, like, all over the place. The art's really nice. But for some reason, it just blends together really well. It's perfect, honestly. Um, but it's the purple. The purple mm -hmm. really and does then, it. I think I've, just, I've, I've found myself really starting to like bag builders um, mm -hmm. lately. Um, spoiler alert, not the only bag builder on my list. Dude, you got to play Orleans with us. <gasps> yeah, oh, let's play Orleans. I said it. Oh, no. Let's move on. But yeah, um, so there will be a, no. We will be playing. We no. will be playing another bag builder. Um, so yeah, Orleans. Eight. Damn it! <laughs> Eight Wonderlands War. Okay. All right. Well, well that was a no. long and rambling episode. I'm not done with you yet. Oh. oh. All right. So based Kevin's on your very emotional, very visceral reaction to your experience with this game, you gave it a seven point five. Okay. Mm hmm. I knew that this was coming. Go. Versus a game that you did not have any of those strong emotions for. You gave up five. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about Viticulture? Yeah. So Viticulture, I've played. I can answer this. 14 to 15 times. Women and I have lost relationships. every single time. No, I got that. I, under I understand that. Viticulture is a different beast. Viticulture is a game that will end without you wanting it to end. No, I got that. I understand like your relationship towards like games that have a fixed ending time like this where like you know exactly how many turns you're gonna get and, and that's it. And is that is that just it? Like you just you're not gonna like any game that has a unfixed ending where Sebastian. No, can I don't end enjoy it? playing Viticulture. I had I did not have fun playing this last night. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I didn't have fun. The first time I played this, I enjoyed myself. Mm -hmm. I enjoy having it on the table and this is a game that I would say, Hey, let's play it. Give me two or three more times, and I might not be like that. Yeah. She's yeah. never enjoyed Viticulture. Yeah. Well, I get I that. Mean, I have it. never had an inkling to be like, oh, let's play that. I've told Sebastian I don't want to get rid of it because it's a Stonemeyer game, and I'm a... Yep. 
Fangirl. But I will never voluntarily ask for that game. All right. This one, I like I said, give me two or three more times and it might continuously go down, which is why I said seven and a half or seven, because mm. it might continue to go down on my list. But as of right now, with the times that I've played it, leave me alone. I talk with my hands. No, mm-hmm. I was doing oh. my fingies. Um, it's just beautiful. And I, I enjoy looking at it and playing with the pieces. So we'll leave it at a, at a seven and a half for now. Okay. I don't like viticulture. I know. It's not even the culture <laughs> itself. It's just like my experience of like watching you play the game. It like very like having a very like negative. It was reaction. obvious she was not having fun. Yeah, and and to me, the mark of a good game, like a, what you say, like a great game, is a game that you can play, lose, and still enjoy. And like, I didn't see that last night. I wouldn't. <laughs> and 7.5 is a great game, on, especially on your scale, where you're like, hey. That is kind of true. Maybe it should be lower. No. I'm not advocating for it to be lower because it's not my game. It has nothing to do with that. I really I really couldn't care less. But it's a matter. I'm just curious because, like, it's it seemed my, my observation of it. It just seems so. It doesn't. The, it doesn't seem to connect. But again, you also could have just buried your feelings with viticulture and been like, I don't have a choice to play this. I know how to play it. I can at least play it and just get through it. I do think that's partially you know, what it was. Is that she has no like inkling of I'm going to win this game. <laughs> <laughs> She's just muddling <laughs> through it. I just I really don't think that you understand like yeah, truly no, understand no, the relationship it. that I have with that game. <laughs> yeah. But she. That's going to end the video. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If uh, you agree with Kenzie and Kevin that this is one of the worst games ever produced, then like the video. And if you agree with me and Dwayne, that is one of the best games ever produced. My games just suck. Then like the I video. was only 0.5 under you. Get out of here. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this very emotional video. Five down, 14 to go. See you in the ranking video with this one again. Bye, guys. Bye.